prolonged stress is extremely harmful in the body. So in the acute phase of stress, our body is adapting to improve our performance. It's trying to get us through that stress. Okay. And it does so by increasing our cortisol level. And so we'll see when we check people's cortisol levels when they're high, that means that they're probably in the acute phase one of their stress, which means, okay, something's stressing them out. Their body's adapting by building more cortisol and they're trying to accommodate and be able to perform at that high level. But it's your body's doing it with an expectation that this is not going to last too long. I can only do this for so long. But what happens is after the burnout phase, you go into something called phase two, which is now the body doesn't even have enough ingredients to make the cortisol. In oh, you're running out. So now you go to this period where your cortisol goes too low. And it's actually almost when you look at the curve, we do these functional medicine, we do these curves from like morning, afternoon, late afternoon in the middle of the night, you'll just see a flat curve. Like it never even went up like it's supposed to. Wow. Okay? Yeah. The most dangerous part. That's the part where you're now pulling the derivatives of what you make the stress hormone, the cortisol from. You're pulling it from your sex hormones. You're pulling it from your mineral hormones. You're pulling basically DHEA and pregnenolone, which are the precursors or like the father and the mother, I call them, of all the hormones that we make. But once you're depleting yourself of your DHEA and your pregnenolone, you're not just not having cortisol in your system. Your testosterone's tanked. If you're a woman, your estrogen, your progesterone, everything's going to be affected and you're just not going to be wow. functioning from top to bottom. Right? Once you get to that point, you start to binge eat, you start to stress eat, you're putting on weight, your body is doing things to try to replenish those nutrients that it needed to make those hormones, but it doesn't know how to because you burnt yourself out. It's asking for more food. So now you start stress eating, your body changes. They, they call it the moon faces when you're, when you're stressed out, you're going in that adrenal mm -hmm. crisis, you're gaining weight in the midsection, losing muscle mass, all the things that we talked about earlier yeah. that we want to avoid right. are now going to come back. Things that you want to do to prevent that from happening, if you're finding yourself that you're stressed, obviously getting blood work done, seeing if your cortisol is heading up, seeing if your hormones are kind of not aligned. A lot of times it's just from stress. 